So I'm having a drink with Tim K. Inside of the Phillies Sports Bar in Angela City. Okay, here's me, okay, here's Tim. Jesus Christ. Tim K decides to pull down his goddamn pants inside of Phillies Sports Bar. Let me explain this story. <laughs> I was sitting in NB's, I was just having breakfast by myself. Nobody was around me. I'm just sort of minding my own business as usual, looking out into the road. There's homeless people passing in front of me. There's prostitutes walking in front of me. There's scums of the earth walking in front of me. There's tuk-tuk drivers. There are people selling Cialis. And one of the above is Tim K. He walks in front of me, right? And there's, you know, innocent Scotty boy. Look, I'm just minding my own business, you know? And there's Tim K walking in front of me. We make eye contact. And uh, Tim K, such a great guy, he says, hey bud, how's it going? I'm thinking like, whoa, is this Tim K? But it turns out, hey, it was Tim K. Subscribe, guys. If you have not subscribed to Scotty boy, hey, please subscribe to Scotty boy. I got some great stories, Coming up, real life stories from Scotty Boy in the Philippines. Okay, now imagine that. A big time YouTuber greeting me. He didn't have to do that. I'm a nobody. I mean, he could have just walked by. He could have just done what everyone else does. You make eye contact for a split second and then you keep walking. So anyway, Tim K, he walks by and honestly, I regret not saying anything. I mean, hey, I mean, look, to my defense here, I mean, I was, I was in a little bit of disbelief. I mean, hey, it's Tim Tim K. I was not expecting this. Philly Willie in the Philippines, maybe. Maybe I expect him to pass by, but not Tim K. I definitely was not expecting the big man. I mean, in Angeles of all places, I mean, during Valentine's of all times, I mean, isn't the guy married? I mean, what is he doing in Angeles during Valentine's? So anyway, later I found out that Tim K was staying at the Wild Orchid because I was talking to another guy in Phillies who was also staying in the Wild Orchid and he saw Tim K there. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, I do regret not offering to say, you know, hey, hey, come on, sit down, you know, have a breakfast, it's on me. I mean, it would be great. You know, I could have sort of a 30 minute chat with the, the world famous Tim K. You know, Tim, with Tim K, <laughs> money is not a problemo with Tim K. I do know somebody that is friends with Tim K, or I should say somebody that was friends with Tim K. I won't mention his channel because he's got about 300 subarinos and it turned out the guy and me, we did not click very well. The guy is a total prick so I don't want to sort of promote his channel. But that's just my opinion, okay? I think he's a prick. Maybe someone else loves him. But uh, this guy, he was in uh, at least one of Tim K's vids. So I do know that he does know him. They were friends in the past. But uh, today, I do know that he, he hates Tim K today. I know that because he told me specifically before he and I sort of stopped being friends. And when I say friends, I mean online. I mean, uh, he and I had a falling out because, I mean, in the past, we, we, he and I used to, we always used to talk about Tim K. I mean, Tim K is kind of a big deal. You know, we used to gossip about Tim K and I enjoyed asking him questions about Tim K and I enjoyed hearing his answer to my question because he knew, he really knew Tim K in person. So anyway, then he, then he and I, we did not talk for like a month and then he starts his own YouTube channel and then I went to his channel in the comment section and I, was, I, I said something about Tim K, I can't remember what it was and the guy flipped out as in a reply to the comment and said, don't bring that Tim K crap over here. I'm thinking like, hey, dude, I mean, that wall went up real quick. Like, why don't you have a little bit of respect for the little Scotty boy? I mean, when he and I were close, he told me the truth about Tim K's earnings, okay? Because he actually saw Tim K's earnings live on his YouTube page. And uh, let me tell you, the Timster, the Timorino, he's doing, okay, you don't have to worry about Timorino in the cashola department, okay?
okay? We're talking five figs, five fig newtons, okay? I'm talking fig newton cookies. He earns about five fig newton cookies a month. And uh, his top month was uh, a deuce, a deuce in the five fig newtons a month. You gotta figure that out yourself. I don't wanna get in any treble, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, after Tim greets me, he was, I, and I was honored, and I was honored to be greeted by the great Tim K. You know, Tim K, he marches his tiny little butterino into Philly Sports Bar. And now, you look, Philly's is a place I usually go to, but not for breakfast. Because the thing is, if I went to Philly's for breakfast, I mean, I would just be at Philly's all the freaking time. You know, I don't want the waitresses in there. I like the waitresses. They're friendly girls. I don't want them to think I'm a loser for sipping beer in Philly's all day. So I had my French toast and coffee at Envy's bar, okay? I, I finished up. I finished up the coffee. I finished up the French toast. And I was just sitting there the whole time by myself. And I know what you're thinking. I am a loser, okay? A big time loser with the big goose egg, the big goose egg, zero friends, loser sitting by himself. That's why I'm just sitting alone, by myself, always, I'm just by myself. But I mean, to be honest, one of the cool things about Angelus is that most of the foreigners in Angelus, they're sitting by themselves. They're eating or they're having a beer and they're just by themselves. And that's what I like about Angelus. That's what makes it easy to make friends in Angelus. Because if everyone was already in a group, it would be hard to penetrate that group. But when they're there by themselves, they're more willing to open up and be friends with people. So anyway, I've got nothing better to do with my time. So I'm thinking, hey, I'll, I'll follow Tim K. So anyway, when Tim K did enter Phillies, I did notice, you know, because all I had to do was turn my head left, and there he is. I did notice where Tim K sat down. So I finish up my coffee at Envy's, and then I decide to get coffee number two, the second cup of coffee at Philly's bar. Partly because I want a second cup of coffee. And reason number two, I realized there's an empty seat next to Tim K. And hey, you know, I'm awestruck of the world famous, one of the greatest people in history. Tim K is sitting there by himself. I want to sit next to the world famous Tim K. So, you know, by the time I finish up, I take the 10 second walk over to Philly's. I enter Philly's. There is Tim K the world famous Tim K. I sit my butt down next to Tim K. There's actually two stools open next to him. So I could have sat down right next to him, but I thought that's a little bit presumptuous. That's a little bit obvious. So I take the stool that's a little bit away from him. So there's a stool, an empty stool in between us. You know, I mean, okay, I want to play it cool a little bit. So when I sat down, I mean, you know, Mr. Cool, Mr. I don't want to say anything to Tim K. I don't want to bother him. Then uh, I order a, a cup of coffee at Philly, just a cup of coffee at Philly's bar. It's my second cup of coffee of the day. So, so here it is. So I turn to Tim K. Okay. Tim K is on my left. And I said to Tim K, sorry about snubbing you. I just woke up. My brain's not really working yet. I kind of use that as an excuse because, hey, I didn't really have an excuse. I couldn't say I'm starstruck by the great Tim K. Anyway, I mean, he says, no problem, bud. I mean, hey, he's a friendly guy. And at that point, the conversation was done. Benito, okay? I mean, obviously, it was clear the guy wanted nothing to do with Scotty Boy. So about 30 seconds of silence goes by. And then the world-famous Tim K, he stands up and he heads to the bathroom at Philly's bar. So he's in the bathroom and look, he pulled down his pants and took it. I know what you're thinking. Scotty Boy, the scum bucket, that's a little bit too much information. I don't need to know what Tim K does in the bathroom. Anyway, while, you know, Tim K was dropping the mother load in Philly's bathroom, my friend comes in. My friend comes in. He sits down on the stool between myself and the great Tim K. So the first thing I said to my buddy there, I said, Tim K is sitting right there because Tim K was in the bathroom. He said, who is Tim K? I said, he's like a Philippines vlogger. He's got like 100,000 subarinos. So he says to me, he says, so what? It's only you two. So at this time, the great Tim Marino, he comes back from the bathroom. He sits down in his stool. So he's sitting down in his stool there, the great Tim Marino, and my buddy, my friend, and we're still friends today, he's still talking about YouTube. He's still talking about how meaningless YouTube is. He was telling me that he respects 
people who in person, he respects people in person. He doesn't respect YouTubers. He respects people who help people in person. He doesn't like these YouTubers who sort of publicize how they help people. Anyway, yada, yada. He was talking about this kind of thing as the great Tim K is sitting right next to him. I'm thinking like, oh my God, now Tim K knows we're talking about YouTube. But anyway, Tim K, he was just sitting there staring out at the street, not very long. And then Tim K, he stands up and he gets the hell out of Dodge. Tim K exits the premises. Now the thing is, I would have told him that I know who he is. I would have said something like, you're the, you're, you're Tim K, aren't you? You know, I would have paid his bill. I would have been honored to pay his bill. But because my buddy was sitting right there between us, sort of yapping away, I didn't want to look like I was sort of a simp towards this YouTuber. So I just sort of, I just sort of let Tim K exit the premises. And that was the end of Tim K. I mean, I never saw Tim K again. I was in, in Angeles for one month and that was the one single time that I saw Tim K. By the way, now that I'm in Angeles, okay, I'm in Angeles. I just want the Philly Willie who does watch my lot. Philly Willie does watch this vlog. I want him to know the match is still on as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure if I had more Subarinos, it would be getting Philly's attention. It, it's a tag team match between me, Philly Willie, and the great Jay Hidoshi. But because I'm a small time vloggy vlogs, um, I think he's pretty much ignoring Scotty Boy. I'm just a regular guy in the Philippines. I am a small time vlogger, and so he's basically ignoring Scotty Boy. But hopefully that will change. I've still got five months between now and when I get to Angela City. Okay guys, in the next vid, and by the way, that's that's the end of uh, Tim, Timmy Boy, the great Tim K. That's the end of Tim K. I saw him one time in my life and that was the last time I ever saw him. He exited Philly's bar and that was the last time I saw Tim K. Anyway guys, in my next vid, we're gonna be talking about a girl who, you know, I'll I'll tell the story. Look, Scotty Boy got some actione from a girl who, who works at a travel agency in Angela City. A bit of a long story. It's probably going to be like a 30 minute long vid. There's quite a story to this. It's a hell of a story. Okay, it's a bit long. Until then, my good friends, please subscribe a Rooney, guys. Subscribe a Rooney, and I will see you guys very soon. Adios. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.